Hello guys, so I got a bit more information on the big update that's going to be coming soon and a lot of it is unconfirmed, some few EEs that people are saying. It seems a bit of art was leaked, but again, nothing is really confirmed. The only thing that we have was actually been pretty much confirmed. The only issue might actually be in translation is the exact stats and skills of the unique stones. So at some point they were on the forum. I don't know why they got removed. So a club mate of mine actually put these up. So we're just going to be looking at them right now. Um, Guardian of the Red Flame. Increase the damage the targets received by 15% when stealing. And increase the attack power by 5% for 5% of lost life. Uh, this would actually be pretty interesting in a lot of PvE content when you're already waiting your striker to die. Uh, this has potential stealing, attacking, midliners, defenders can have some use for this. And a lot of people were also saying vetoes could have a use for it. I do find it sounds pretty interesting and I like the idea of a mechanic that rewards you of being able to attack when you're weak. Again, for PvE content, this is great. For PvP content, it's not that great because being low on life in PvP just means you're going to die. So we're going to see exactly how people use this, but I find this is a very interesting stone. Eye of the Storm, aka the most broken stone, stone since EMB. Decrease the damage received in the position by 15%. Yes, you read that right. That's a five-star line buff right there and wait for it wait for it decrease action speed in enemy position by 12 percent okay this is the stone i'm going to be force combining at the release of this new patch instantly and giving to cheetos because this is broken as fuck also everyone's going to try a reroll to stick this in their back line because obviously 15 percent line dr in a stone is just magic because it's a bonus dr right there also decrease action speed never hurts and it's always going to screw up every enemy vaunt your enemy line you could ever imagine so Nothing you're losing in this stone. It's just a great trade-off, knowing that even regular DR stones are inferior to this, so it's still pretty much buffing the player holding it. Heart of Minerva. Now, this is actually something uh, very conditional. Uh, we, were very, we spent a bit of time speculating, so it's increased critical resistance by 15% when attacked, accumulate up to three times, so 45%, and recovers the action bar by 20% when attacked. Uh, so we were talking about this stone, and we are thinking... The position where it would actually make the most sense uh, would be a, f a few type of backline defenders with actives or pass skills, a bit like Mariel, or actually on goalkeepers with critical resistance who don't heal when being attacked. Um, for example, uh, we can think, um, I keep forgetting her name, the new, the new Thunder goalkeeper, Glade, because she technically doesn't heal when attacked, and with this you'd be charging her action bar to make a pass healing, and acting more than she would have been if she was healing when being attacked, allowing her to be a bit more versatile and allowing Thunder to be even faster in COD and not time out. So there's a few little ideas on Heart of Minerva, so I think certain goalkeepers will actually have a good advantage by using him. Uh, now, El Pelayor, I can't pronounce this, I'm sorry once again, recover life by 15%, uh, and decrease the damage received by 8.4 when attacked. We don't know if it's permanent or not, again, like we said, the person who translated it was not 100% clear. So that again, it's still pretty decent. Increased critical damage resistance by 25%. So the minute you see this, you should automatically be thinking, Presti Shaman backline, you go in PvE, they will never crit you. Well, I mean, they will crit you. You just won't take critical damage. So it's like they're not critting anyway, allowing you to completely kick out of the loop any form of critical damage, res uh, critical resistance. I mean, if on top of this, you can throw in... Um, Damn, I keep forgetting these people's name. Jiho Ace with a, with a Shaman active on that. That's just going to be insane. So if you combine this correctly, you should be able to reach at least 100% critical damage out of Duran, out of Jiho, out of Shaman active. Give this stone and bam, you just don't care anymore. It doesn't matter. So that's a really cool combine we're thinking. Uh, I might actually be trying it out just for the hell of it. And I got to say for Ks who don't want to be re-rolled, this is also pretty damn cool because now they finally have a light stone that heals them, gives them DR and critical damage resistance. Who, well, no, no one's ever said no, and it's much less expensive than trying to reroll them to Thunder for a stone who, except for the heal, is not even as good. So great for us once again, light people happy. And residue of madness increase attack power by twenty five percent when receiving ball by a pass accumulates three times. Each target increases the critical rate by twenty five percent. 
Now, this is more something that works on specific players. Uh, the players that people, a lot of uh, people are thinking of is uh, Lucid for obvious reason. She's a pass receiver. That a lot of her skills are already based around that. And she has a bit less uh, attack power, so this is really nice. Um, on top of it, there's more than one position to put it. And the increased uh, critical rate by 25% can be really great, especially if you're facing a team who has great critical resistance. In the worst case, you can hit two or three people at the same time to crit, and then when it's on a 1v1, you still have a decent crit rate. So it's like having a Will of Metatron on max stacks when you're hitting two people, and when you're hitting one guy, well, you usually don't care as much because they're going to die, even if irrelevant that you crit or not. So i got to say that's also a pretty nice stone. Now looking at these stones, what am I going to say are the ones you're going to really see appear in the new meta? Uh, I'm going to say I have the storm for obvious reasons. It's completely broken. It might even be nerfed to 10 and 10%. We're going to see exactly how they do it. But it is clearly broken, and I also think that on a lot of goalkeepers, uh, especially the legendary ones, El Rapion is going to be very popular, combined with Durant, combined with Jibril. Just that is an insane combo right there. So I hope this helps you guys understand exactly how the stones work. Uh, there's already been a few rumors of ease that are going to come with a patch, but nothing's really been officially confirmed. Uh, there's also a few people trying to say that they know some of the COD comps. I'm not going to start saying stuff until I know for sure, but some of it does seem legit. So we're going to wait for the following days until this, this information is more clearly data mined, and then I'll come back to you guys. Have a good day.